So one of the other things that I wanted to ask you while you were here is what is the biggest myth around wholesale energy that you've come across that you'd like to clear up? Yeah, I think the biggest myth would be around that wholesale is risky. Um, but if you've got a solar and battery system and you're in a, a position to be as self-sufficient as possible, like wholesale plus battery automation is a great bet. And we see that with how much additional value customers are unlocking with, with their solar and battery systems. Um, my advice is, you know, jump on with Amber, give it a try. Like we've got no locking contracts. Um, you, can, you can cancel at any time. You know, if you are passionate about moving to 100% renewables and you want to see what it looks like to be fully in control of your asset and capture all the financial upside, um, you're going to have a good time with Amber. I would also just add to that there that um, something I didn't mention earlier, which is probably worth mentioning for people that want to try Amber, mm -hmm. you said give it a bit of time and mm -hmm. see. You need to give it a bit of time, don't you, to learn as well. That's so right. We've had a little bit of feedback from people. Um, just on the forums online and stuff where they've tried it for a couple of weeks yep. and gone, this is not working properly, I'm leaving. Yep. You really need to let the algorithm learn. How long do you need to give it for that to happen, do you yeah, think? Yeah, so we've got all this information on our website as well. We like to say that the first, conservatively, the first 30 days is, is learning because um, yep. we're essentially trying to build an AI model specifically for your site. So we're looking at how much um, solar your system produces, what your consumption looks like on your property, how much battery storage you have, and then it essentially just runs that through a model and many different scenarios, many different outcomes to see what's going to deliver the best turn. So it's like the more data we can have coming into the site, um, the more reliable smart shift is going to get. So yeah, we can link that. Um, all that information is on the website, but yeah, we, we, we recommend the first 30 days, that that is the learning period with Amber. Yeah, we can link that in the notes as well for people who want to read into it a bit further. But I, I can say from my experience that mine was working very well within that 30 days. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I would also say there is don't expect it to be perfect mm. because you change the way you use energy all the time, weather changes all the time. That's right. That has an impact on what the, um, the, the rate is going to be, obviously. Yep. So it's not, it can't be a perfect model, no. but it gets it right more often than not for me, and that's delivered a really good outcome for me. So if you want to try it, give it at least a month to two months, yeah. I would say, and make sure that your battery's correct.